joining us. We are going to have a fun short video today for younger elementary age students on color, color mixing, and color theory. So to start out, we have a question for you. What do all these paintings hold up, hey. by famous artists using really different styles and different subject matter, what do they all have in common? What do you color. guys think? Color. Color. They have great color. And they used color in different ways. Maybe they used it to be a little bit more realistic. Maybe they used it to show a feeling. Maybe they used it... Maybe they used it to show a time of day. But they used color. And artists need to have an understanding of color before they really get going in their artwork. So, we're going to have some fun with color and color theory and color mixing today. So, have you ever heard of a color wheel? We are going to make color wheels today, but not in the usual way. We are going to use make color wheels out of Play-Doh. So, for our art project homemade today, Play -Doh. you just need Play-Doh. Yeah, we've made some homemade Play-Doh. There are a gazillion recipes for these online. Homemade Play-Doh, homemade cloud dough, homemade salt dough, homemade clay, anything. Or store-bought Play-Doh works fine too. But we need three colors. Which three colors do we need, folks? Red, red yellow, yellow, blue. Because red, red yellow, and blue are what are called red. primary colors. They are the red. colors. Yes. We've got red, yellow, yellow, and blue. They are the primary colors. They are the colors from which we mix all other colors. There are great stories for kids about mixing colors like this one, mouse paint. We really like this one because these white mice are hiding from the cat, but they just happen to find some paint, which they obviously think is mouse paint. And so they jump in and become red, yellow, and blue mice. And they drip puddles on the ground. And then they start to dance in different puddles, like the red mouse dances, stirs the yellow around, and creates orange. It's made orange! <laughs> yes, he makes orange from that different color. So we don't have mice, thank goodness. And we don't have drips of paint on the floor, so we're not going to stir up puddles of paint, but we are going to mix with our Play-Doh. So you have your primary colors here, not, not all together, and take a little bit of your red and a little bit of your yellow. No, more than that. Like, like a ping pong ball like amount. This. A little bit more. Like this. Sure. Or and like then a this. bit of your yellow. And if we take our red and our yellow and we mix them all together, what are we going to make? Orange. orange! Yeah, red and yellow make orange. When we mix two primary colors together, we get what's called a secondary color. That's why on my color wheel back here, some of the, the red, yellow, and blue have a P inside them, and the orange, purple, and green have an S for secondary. We've got primary, the beginning colors, the ones that mix together to make everything else. And we have secondary, the ones that you make when you mix two primaries together. Then grab a ping pong size ball of yellow and a ping pong size ball of blue and go to town. Mix those up. Everybody loves playing with Play Doh, don't they? Okay, my green is amazing. Your green is amazing. Awesome. Look at my purple look at so that. far. Look that's amazing. Look at my purple so far. Ooh, look at your purple, yeah, looking good. You can see that. All right, little bit of red, little bit of blue. What do they make? Look at my purple, huh? Ooh. Wow. <laughs> All right, and so when you have mixed red and yellow to make orange, and blue and yellow to make green, and red and blue to make... Something. What? Do you not know? I know. Do you know? Purple. Though. Purple. Red and blue to make purple. Make purple you purple. have your color wheel. You have your primary colors and your secondary now colors. Can I mix you could actually also make tertiary colors by mixing a primary color with a secondary color. So if you mix red and orange together, you make red-orange. If you mix yellow and orange together, you make yellow-orange, and then you would have tertiary colors. But while you do that, I have some questions to ask you. 
Which of your colors on your plate are warm colors? Orange. Orange. Orange, purple, red, purple. Orange, red, yellow. Orange, red, and yellow. What about Think, purple? No, purple is, is usually more of a cold color. Think When we ask what warm colors are, think sun and fire and heat. And we get red, yellows, oranges, those bright, bright, nice oh, colors. And what are cool colors on your color wheel? Red. Red. Purple, blue, green. Purple, blue, green. When you think about cool colors, think... <laughs> Ice. I cool like evening so cool. as the sky as the sky starts to get darker. Purple. Think winter. Think purple, blue, and green. Oh, no, so we have warm colors. We have brownish. cool colors. We also have something called complementary colors. And Grace was just noticing that when she mixed purple and yellow, which are directly across from each other on our color wheel, it made kind of a gray brown. Purple and yellow are what's called complementary colors because they are opposite each other on a color wheel. They look really great together. That's why a lot of sports teams, will their sports colors will be complementary colors. Purple and yellow, orange and blue, red and green, because those colors really make each other pop. But if you mix them together, they make a brown gray neutral kind of a muddy color if you want a brown gray neutral muddy color that's fantastic but if you're not wanting that don't mix your complementary colors together all right so now that you have your own color wheel go ahead and play with it make tertiary colors if you want make you know mix some complementary colors and see what they look like create a work of art now that you have all the colors you could possibly need it's great to know that as long as you have those primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, you can make anything you want to. So thank you for joining us. Have fun and happy arting. Bye. Mom. Bye.